In this video, we are going to simplify the given trigonometric expression sine 11 pi over 6 minus cosine pi over 6 all over sine negative pi over 3 plus cosine pi pi over 6. To find the exact value of the given expression, we are going to convert the given radians to degree and let us use the reference angle to find the exact value of the given trigonometric function. So to start with, 11 pi over 6. Let us convert this one into degrees by multiplying 180 degrees over pi. Let us cancel pi. And we are going to have 11 times 180 degrees over 6. 180 degrees divided by 6, that is 30 degrees. And 30 degrees multiplied by 11 is 330 degrees. So this will be the value of 11 pi over 6 in degrees. Next, we have pi over 6. Let us multiply by 180 degrees over pi. Let us cancel pi. And we have 180 degrees divided by 6. That is 30 degrees. So this will be the value of pi over 6 in degrees. Next, we have negative pi over 3. Let us multiply by 180 degrees over pi. Let us cancel pi. Negative times 180 degrees, that is negative 180 degrees, divided by 3. Negative 180 degrees divided by 3, that is negative 60 degrees. And then last, we have 5 pi over 6. Let us multiply by 180 degrees over pi. Let us cancel pi. And we have 5 times 180 degrees divided by 6. 180 degrees divided by 6, that is 30 degrees. And 30 degrees times 5 is 150 degrees. So this will be the value of 5 pi over 6 in degrees. And let us substitute this given to the given trigonometric expression. So we have here sine 11 pi over 6 in degrees, that is 330 degrees minus cosine pi over 6 that is 30 degrees all over sine negative pi over 3 that is negative 60 degrees plus cosine pi pi over 6 that is 150 degrees now let us find the reference angle of 330 degrees 330 degrees is located in quadrant 4. And the reference angle in quadrant 4 is 360 degrees minus the given angle in quadrant 4, that is 330 degrees. 360 degrees minus 330 degrees, that is uh, 30 degrees. And sine in quadrant 4 is negative. So you are going to have sine 30 degrees, that is negative 1 half minus cosine 30 in quadrant 1, that is square root of 3 over 2. All over, let us find the reference angle of negative 60. So the given angle is negative, so let us convert negative degrees into positive by adding 360 degrees. Negative 60 degrees plus 360 degrees is 300 and 300 degrees is located in quadrant 4. And the reference angle in quadrant 4 is 360 degrees minus the given angle, which is 300. 360 minus 300 is 60 degrees. And sine 60 degrees in quadrant 4, that is negative square root of 3 over 2. And the reference angle of 150 is... 180 degrees minus the given angle, which is 150. And 150 is located in quadrant 2. 180 minus 150, that is 30 degrees. So cosine 30 degrees in quadrant 2, that is negative square root of 3 over 2. And then let us simplify our answer. Negative 1 half minus square root of 3 over 2. Since we have the same denominator, let us copy the denominator. 
and then let us say write negative 1 minus square root of 3 because we can combine 1 and square root of negative 3 all over so denominator is 2 so negative square root of 3 plus negative square root of 3 that is negative 2 square root of 3 so let us cancel this one and let's have negative 1 minus square root of 3 over 2 divided by negative square root of 3. And let's multiply 2 and negative square root of 3. Negative 1 minus square root of 3 over 2 times negative square root of 3. That is negative 2 square root of 3. And then let us rationalize by multiplying the numerator and denominator by square root of 3 to eliminate the radical sign on the denominator. So we have square root of 3 times negative 1, that is negative square root of 3. Then square root of 3 times negative square root of 3, that is negative square root of 9. And the square root of 9 is 3, so we have negative 3. And then negative 2, square root of 3 times square root of 3, that is square root of 9. And the square root of 9 is 3. So let us simplify. So we have negative square root of 3 minus 3 over negative 6. So we can write our answer as negative square root of 3 minus 3 over negative 6. Or we have square root of 3 over 6 plus 1 half. 3 over 6, that is 1 half. Negative divided by negative is positive. So this will be our answer.